This video is for the demo of a game called Broken Alliance. We just look at the settings. Um, there's nothing about full screen or window. There's no resolution, nothing like that. So I'm just playing it in uh, full screen windowed or borderless full screen. Um, and then we have a uh, language option there. And we have, um, I mean, there's only the three options to choose from. And we have volume sliders, which is great. Now, I'm just going to launch MSI Afterburner. Just so we can find out whether the game has got some kind of internal V-Sync happening and uh, that should pop up in the top left corner of the screen okay yep so it's using an internal v-sync as you can see because it caps the frame rate for your display it's not putting a lot of pressure on your uh, cpu or gpu nothing's being overloaded from uh, creating excess frames etc so let's jump in and see what this game is all about yeah smells of the brine of the vast and unfathomable ocean it has not been an easy journey though not the worst you've had either Still, you felt the shift on the road. Times have grown tense and perilous. The factions quarrel, threatening reprisal over any transgression, insult, grievance. They threaten each other with war. They threaten the future of Aeol itself. Yet, there is, as always, a glimmer of hope. If the leaders of the four factions agree to attend the gathering, if they find a peaceful way out of this peril. And so, Anchorage, the first on your list, draws closer with every step. Onwards then, Emissary. Beside you stands Pryor, the silent apostate. Ahead awaits your other companion, Yorick, the Elden Hawk having returned from his reconnoiter. Okay, WASD, or the arrow keys, or uh, moving the camera, move your hero quick where you want him to go, or drag your hero onto a clear ground character or building. Okay. Interesting. Let's try that. So Okay, yeah. <laughs> so you can kind of like drag where you want to go. Uh, I guess we're heading this way. I wonder what will happen if I go to here like this. Let's see what happens if I drag him to the bridge. Okay. I was kind of wondering if maybe we might get into combat. Yorick, your compatriot on many expeditions. His armor covered in dust and bramble. A bold warrior. He came on the journey for the same reason you did. For all the banter, he also strives for peace. In actual war, warriors do not last for long. Took you long enough, Emissary? Who's beginning to think you got yourself lost without me? The scales of his armor clink as he attempts to shake the dust from it. And we know you can't rely on Pryor there. He can't find a path even when standing on it. Pryor, 
gestures at Yorick in a way which can only be interpreted as vulgar, then grins. Worry not, friends, the road looks clear. No foes in sight. A shame, too. I wanted to fight something. Aye, will you? I wouldn't mind a good payday. Nothing much. All seems calm enough. The easterly road will lead us to Skiffheim. Suppose the case would change, no? Just wondering, right, can we go to that? Maybe not. Well, let's. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Wait. There's something something there. Eastward. Rocky Coast. So, okay. Well, this must be sky, sky high, surely. So that would make that north, that south, east. Yeah, east that way, south that way. Surely. But my question is, why can I not enter castle? Talk to the Anchorage leader. Okay, well... Hey, how come background music's gone up? In fact, it seems to be more, it seems to be louder than the, uh, the game menu. Yeah, character movement's a little bit funky. I don't know. I, I, I don't, wait, did we move again? I can't enter the castle here. Um, I'm not too sure. Am I supposed to go in here? It just says, talk to the Anchorage leader. But where is Anchorage? Anchorage. I mean, if I was going to head south, I would have just headed south. But I went this way. There was a hedgehog here. Maybe we're supposed to go this way.
See, I can enter here, but I can't enter that one. Very strange. Behold the gates of Skithheim, mighty capital of Anchorage. Guards patrol the ramparts while banners in blue cerulean turquoise flutter overhead. You hear the booming call of a horn, and the gates slowly begin to open, granting you entrance into its wind-stricken streets. Okay. Now, I just want to check. What did that sign say? I want to check something here. East. That would make north kind of up this way. South would be here. Okay. I don't know, that seems a bit weird to me. But anyway, we shall move on. I'm hoping if there's something to interact with, the mouse will actually change into the um, the, the horse uh, there like that we can go there, we can go there we can go there uh, I'm not too sure um, the interior of the town hall is designed to display the splendor of Anchorage. The walls are adorned with murals of historical battles and triumphant victories, some perhaps more dubious than others. The central gallery cutting through the hall is lined with intricate sculptures of legendary Inheriar, gifted to the Hersir of Anchorage by masterful Trollkin artisans. The figure waiting by the hearth is aged, his beard grey. Yet he still stands proud and tall, the honoured High Inquisitor of Anchorage, leader of the Alliance through endless hardships. He turns to face you, one eye smirking. Emissary. Ravens have foretold of your arrival. His severe voice is undercut by a tinge of mockery. He shrugs in reply. Of course. A gathering of the leaders of Aeol in the ruins before Ishros. A common ground, notably, watched over by the specters of our ancestors. Tell me, who set you on this little expedition? How enigmatic. <laughs> but it does pique my interest a fair bit. Hmm, I'm considering it. I am, after all, a man of peace. The Alliance of Anchorage was formed to safeguard stability and order, and I won't be the one to betray my forebears. We'll make sure the factions stay in line. In their blind recklessness, they dabble with magic, putting all of us in danger. Deceivers and trespassers. He trails off, mumbling off a slew of unclear indictments, then snaps his attention back to you. However, to tell the truth, I'm not convinced you'll make it to the mountain. The path is dangerous. <coughs> Yorick fails in his attempt to stifle a derisive snort. 
This Elden Hawk may be of warrior stock. <laughs> well, that remains to be seen. First, prove yourself worthy by defeating my warrior at the sawmill. If my shield maiden reports of your honorable victory, I will attend the gathering. Besides, you need wood to rebuild a bridge that was recently swept away by a deluge. Ah, I've always wanted to battle a Valkyrie. Suppose a shield maiden will have to do. Okay. So where would a sawmill be? Um, sawmill. Oh, you can move up there with the WASD, huh? Okay. Very strange, though. I mean, why would the mouse not allow you to do that? All right. Well, where is a sawmill? Um, Here we go, that looks like it, doesn't it? So, can we look at our... ...setup? No. You see, a shield maiden, noble fighter of Anchorage, protector of the people, come flame and storm. Her armor gleams in the frigid sunlight, as she brushes the mane of her war horse. Welcome, Emissary. Talk of your quest seems to be spreading fast. Are you tough enough for what lies ahead? Don't underestimate us, lass. In my time, I've fought worse than you. That's what we're here to find out, Sir Hogg. The Shield Maiden mounts her horse, preparing her armaments. Defeat me in honorable combat, and you may continue your quest. If you fail here, you will be no match for the dangers that lie ahead. Hey, <laughs> wish we'd had that bed. Oh, I'd be sleeping on a mound of golden coins tonight. Yorick chomps on a mushroom, then readies his mace and shield. Prior, solemn for once. Arms crossed in front of his chest, bows deeply to the Shield Maiden. Okay. Start by choosing a card and pick one of your champions to use a card. Pick the target based on the card type. Select your units. Combat limit of three. Right. Well, I've got these two here. Who's he's? What have they got? This guy got a mace and shield. That one. I don't know what he's got. Is that a gun? It looks like a gun, doesn't it? How about we put you there? Alright. So these cards. Crippling attack, Berserk. Attack. Or move.
Hmm. Hey. Select. And. Select a. Unit, maybe? Select something. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it'd be good if we could make it so that I do not get hit first. Oh, you can't move. Sorry. I want to move you down here. What about if we go crippling attack or pattern? No, all right, that's fine. Let's end turn. Oh, yeah. I kind of wanted. to kind of be far enough away so that I wouldn't hit. Oh, well. Power bash, attack, attack. So let's try this one. Power bash. Okay. And this one, attack. Alright, that looks like we're done for this pin. Ah, sneaky. Well, it looks like we should be in the bag anyway. Uh, right. Attack, no retaliation. Alright, let's go. Uh, right. And this one. And her blade in resignation, then thrusts it into the ground, a sign of respect from a noble guardian of Anchorage. She brushes her auburn hair away from her face. Well fought, Emissary. You have proven your mettle. Be careful, though, on your path. The creatures of Slaumir are not to be trusted. The magic of Phobos is noxious. We all wish for peace, but sometimes the only way to maintain order is through strength. In any case, the High Inquisitor will be notified of your success. You may use the sawmill. She picks up her sword and sheaths it, turning to leave. All right, so we can access the sawmill now, building back here. Do you want to exploit the resources? Wood from the forests that cover Ao, used for construction, fuel, tools, and weapons. Abundant and versatile. Alongside ore, it is the most commonly used material. Yet be wary of excessive logging one's paradise. It may draw the wrath of the Earth Mother, for trees also live and breathe, and are connected to the land below.
Okay, so if this is like a Heroes of Modern Magic series of games, then you can come back to this uh, once per week or something and get more resources. We've got two wood at the moment. What are we do now? Repair the broken bridge. Well, this looks like the bridge up here, doesn't it? The ruined half of a wooden bridge lies ahead. The river Elivahar flows down from the towering mountains in the west, cutting through anchorage lands on its way to the ocean. Okay. Rebuilding a bridge is not easy. But after some hearty labor, the task is done. Not a moment too soon, the thought crosses your mind. And you didn't fall into the water once. The road to the portal heads due north. Okay, so this way is north, west up there, east down here, and south this way. Which means that Uh, this here must have been what they were calling um, uh, what were they calling it? I think it's with something to do with coastal <laughs> coastal town or something. But anyway, uh, we shall what do we do? Talk to the leader Obo. Bobars. Yeah, I guess it's uh, this way. Oh, look, there's some coins. The piece of gold glints in the sunlight. A precious mineral used for trade all across El. Mortals dig for it. Mortals mold and process it. Mortals fight and die over it. A mere substance of the soil, its value is arbitrary. Based on that very glint and the tacit agreement between mortals who have deemed it to have value. Still, one cannot deny, especially when holding a piece of gold between their fingers, the powerful effect it has. Right. The, the portal of teleportation is a stone platform raised slightly above the rest of the ground. Its surface, ancient and scarred, is covered with various unknown symbols and glyphs. The air around the platform throbs and pulses with vast magical energy. Never been fond of these. Teleportation's not a natural way to travel. Yorick shudders, his spines bristling. Makes me queasy in the stomach is what it does. It doesn't feel right. Yorick snorts, then wags his finger. Queasy it may be, but it solves the issue of long-distance travel for the time being. Step onto the platform and jump into the abyss, Emissary. Alright. Yep, so we're still looking for the Obas leader. Here. The vast chasm of the quarry looms ahead, a pit of pitch black darkness. No light escapes from its depths. Across the quarry, you see a row of creatures, minuscule like ants, scurrying on a footpath, heading to toil in the darkness. 
You shout a greeting across the chasm, but get no reply. Not even an echo. Sound disappears into the dark alongside light, never to return. Several cranes tower above the quarry pit, ready to lift out the wealth from below. Mine carts dangle from hooks, with the crimson of blood iron glinting like red stars against a cosmic backdrop. So at least looks like maybe they're sure we have to go to Tenebrae. You know, following the same uh, direction layout. Aye, but these Vobosians give me the jitters. A faint shiver passes through York's spiny backside. Prior, his brow furrowed, signs a criticism, followed by a question. Yeah, you just haven't met enough of them, especially the prophets and their ilk. The flock, I mean, the orderlies who run Phobos. Suppose they're trying to unnerve us on purpose, crafting a facade of intimidation. Well, it works, that's for sure. down the road. And up the road. Okay, there must be a there. The ominous town hall of Tenebrae looks far more pleasant on the inside. The walls are covered with colorful tapestries. On them, various strange creatures posing in unnerving ways doing unidentifiable acts. Yet there is something lively about all of them. The craft of these is remarkable, the material smooth and soft, woven of spider silk spun by the horrors of Phobos. In the middle of the hall stands a shadowy creature, one of the prophets, arms raised in greeting, Dark obscurity surrounds them in the form of a mantle, a multitude of eyes intermittently blinking within it. A guest in our citadel. Their voice echoes through the hall, the direction it's coming from difficult to discern. <laughs> Welcome, visitor, and partake in our hospitality. What brings you to us? Ah, certainly. Age-old capital of the forgotten people. But we remember. <laughs> Nothing but dust now. <sighs> Nothing but dust. <sighs> Is dust what we will one day also become? Or are we dust already? Lacking comprehension, animated only by the potency of magic. The umbral mantle around the Prophet whirls with increasing speed. So then, Emissary, we take it you wish us to attend. But what is this peace to us? 
We, children of Phobos, followers of the hallowed creator, ever tormented by our neighbors, hated by the other factions for who we are, <laughs> what we are. They come at us with blade and spear and axe and spell to kill us and to steal from us because they feel it, fear of the unknown. Ah, dark times are ahead, but we embrace change. We thrive in it. That is our strength. <laughs> An eruption of laughter booms from every direction of the hall at once. Alas, would that we could see trouble already brews. The road to our portal is back, and our manor refinery seized from us. If you would be so kind to reconquer it, then surely one good deed will be met with another. Ah, the refinery will provide enough mana to clear the way, though where you get a spell is not our concern. Don't you have troops and workers for this kind of work? The many eyes narrow in what feels like ridicule. Murmur of madness nods. Murmur of madness stands in silence, but you can still sense the mischievous smile that isn't there. They wave you to depart. Hmm. The Tower of Magic, wherein warlocks and conjurers explore the possibilities of spell casting. Here, spells can be bought for a hefty price. But today, due to the nature of your quest, the Phobosians gift you a spell free of charge. All right, we got combust. Kill the target either instantly or deal 50 percent of their action hit point and damage and inflict burning. It's too bad. They can be cast not good. Okay. Let's try it out. Now, which way are we going? The way to the portal. Must be a different portal. So that road only goes this way, so it's got to be down here. Yeah, I'm noticing a bit of screen clearing, which is a bit strange because you would expect that this game is using uh, some kind of internal leasing based on the fact that the frame rate seems to be capped at my refresh rate. The road to the portal is blocked. Vast chunks of rubble have fallen onto the path. Or perhaps piled so on purpose. Alright, so let's try casting the spell.
Okay. Um. Why isn't that waking? What's this? That's my unit. Anything with them? So units and resources. But how do we cast a spell? Cast button doesn't work. Okay, well, maybe we don't have the money yet, I don't know. Um, let's check out this, see what that is. Seems to be a creature in the way. Before the manor refinery lies a makeshift camp. Accursed raiders await you, weapons primed. Golden bronze plating glimmers in the rays of the sun. To your surprise, these are forge troopers. Forge troopers? Recommendation. Leave now, whoever you are. The observer slowly glides a few paces towards you. His mechanical tentacles swaying in the breeze. Hmm, we can take him. Fancy Forge Tech won't stand up to a solid blow from my mace. Fairly agitated, Prior signs for caution. His motions catch the eye of the observer. The scale plating on its tentacles flare up, then subside. Apostate. Unexpected to see you in present company. It will not restrain us from what must be done. Prior gestures a sequence of messages to the observer, who proceeds to ignore the Kemdi rebel. None of your concern. A warning was delivered. Ignored. Prepare for combat. Okay, yep. Looks like we're good to go. Actually, I could probably mirror what he did. I've only got the one move. Wait, who's it? That one. Okay, uh, no, let's see if you. Ooh. That. <laughs> that really annoys me a bit. Do I mean? Next time I think I'm not going to move at all. I'm just going to, I'm just going to stand that way. <laughs> Unit gains plus 35 percent damage. Done and received. Let's go for a standard attack. Oh no, we won't. Okay, let's move closer. I guess it's going to have to be the yeah, this is the problem. Okay, let's go to here. Hopefully we won't be able to get shot from here, but I don't know. Maybe we can. 
Wait, who am I doing now? Uh, can I attack with him again? Ah, yeah, that's uh, interesting, isn't it? Uh, okay, now we can. Yeah, I think there's, yeah, he's gonna be out of shoot there. So we're just taking massive damage now. Um, need to get him out of there. What will happen if I move? Okay, so he didn't do that fast, but it does. Uh, pushes and two tiles. Um, They're going after him, alright. Uh, I can I move? See, I can't get him. He's pretty smart. Something tells me that we're not going to get any defensive <laughs> uh, boosts from being behind the crop. Yeah. Not really surprised. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame. This guy can't hit him from here. So, you know. Oh no, another thing. Where the hell did he come from? Crippling. Uh, Crippled. Two turns, but my guy is almost dead. Something tells me that I can't hear. Right? Yep. 
a shame. This is not cool. I need to get there apparently. This doesn't make sense. Killed both of those and they respawn. I mean, I've got no house potions or anything. Um, no, it's in there. We're waiting for them to come over. Okay. Uh, I gotta move this guy down here. I'm just going to go after my range now. Yeah. Kill one of them, they're just gonna be cool. I don't know what, kill both of them in the one turn? They're just taking the wine bloody needle and bottle. Oh, 
Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, at first it, it looked interesting. It was, it, it reminded me of uh, something like Heroes of Mind and Magic. But then when you go to move your character around the map, you find that it's not working quite as well. They use a different uh, control scheme here. And unfortunately, it's just not quite as intuitive uh, it's very hard to see where I could move and then it it wouldn't work all the time it wouldn't allow me to enter that other castle um, and then I think some of the things that you can click on where the cursor would go is a little bit offset so that can also add to the uh, confusion a little bit um, then it was talking about directions, you know, north, east, south, west. But there's no compass. So it's just complete guesswork trying to figure out, you know, which way is which, what they're calling what, etc. You know, like head over to Anchorage. Where they, where, where's Anchorage? It wasn't even on the road sign, you know, it didn't say Anchorage. Um, so that's another thing. Um, and the character here, I couldn't click on my character, so I don't know, are they carrying anything? Do they have any health potions or anything? Um, But, you know, there, there were some good things. All the dialogue appears to be voiced apart from the player character. The player character, none of her lines are voiced. Um, maybe there is on purpose because perhaps in the full game you might be able to choose what character you play as and if they you know they would have to get all the players voice lines voiced by you know different kind of uh, people or, or whatever uh, which would be quite a bit more extra work so maybe they just decided we're not going to do any uh, voice lines for the player character at all. 
Uh, combat? Well... It doesn't play exactly like how Might of Magic is doing. Uh, and here is Might of Magic. It's turn-based, which is like that, but each of your units have their turn in order based on how quickly they move so slow slow moving characters will get their turn last and fast moving characters will get their turn first here you can kind of choose which character you want to use which character you want to move which character you want to attack with whatever you want it doesn't really matter about who's faster who's slower they all get their turn, but there's nothing telling me um, how many attacks they can do in one turn, etc. Sometimes I was able to use all my attacks up before ending my turn, and I was even able to do that with just one character. Um, and then sometimes I can't. So... Yeah, they need to make that a little bit more clear. Uh, same thing with the the movement and the shooting range. If you click a character, you can see how far they can move. But what I can't see is how far do I have to move to be able to shoot? I mean, with your characters, you can kind of work it out. But when it comes to the enemy characters, You've got no idea at all. And I've tried moving up a little bit. So that, you know, I'm not in their firing range. Hasn't worked out. So then I feel like, well, it's better just to stay back and let the enemy come to you. Um, but then... The last part of combat that's really annoying is the enemies respawn. I don't quite understand that because there's nothing here that I can see that's telling me enemies are going to be respawning. Usually, like I mean, in Heroes of Might of Magic, all the people that are involved in the combat, you can see them on the map. If they're not on the map, then they're not going to be in combat. Unless you had somebody who could actually summon uh, characters or something into the fight. Which I believe that could be possible, maybe, but it's quite rare. I mean, you'd have to have characters or your hero would have to be able to summon. But uh, yeah, ordinary units, if they're in the battle, you're going to be able to see them. So I think maybe there is a bug in this here that they need to fix um, and then of course you see now we've actually locked up completely I can't click on anything, I can't do anything um, I'm pressing escape, can't bring up the menu or anything so I'm going to say the game is uh, crashed um, but yeah, if you'd like to try it yourself it's called Broken Alliance and you can find the demo on the Steam Store page. Um, it looks interesting. I think they need to do more work on it, though. Um, kudos to them for getting all uh, most of the dialogue uh, voiced, because that does actually add to it. Um, yes, you have to kind of sit here and listen to the voices and, and all that kind of stuff, but, um, you know, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It's all right. But I mean, these are slow-paced games anyway, you know. It's, it's the kind of game that you want to kind of sit back and just uh, play through and enjoy it, you know. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit like reading a book or something, isn't it, really, in a way. Uh, you know, you're, you're going through a, a story. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. And we will get you in the next video.